Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a nostalgic journey through the golden era of cinema, exploring the captivating beauty of actresses from the 60s and 70s. Join us as we revisit the iconic looks that defined an era and discover how these timeless stars continue to radiate elegance in 2023. Now, let's get started. Audrey Hepburn, born on May 4, 1929, in Brussels, Belgium, was a legendary actress and humanitarian. Her breakthrough came with the film Roman Holiday, 1953, earning her an Academy Award. Known for her distinctive elegance, she became a Hollywood icon through roles in Breakfast at Tiffany's, 1961, and My Fair Lady, 1964. Hepburn's career was marked by critical acclaim and numerous accolades, including an Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Awards. Beyond acting, Hepburn dedicated herself to humanitarian work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, focusing on children's issues. Her efforts earned her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Tragically, Audrey Hepburn passed away on January 20, 1993, at the age of 63, succumbing to appendix cancer. Despite her untimely death, her legacy persists through her timeless contributions to cinema and her impactful advocacy for children's rights worldwide. Bridget Bardot, born on September 28, 1934, in Paris, France, is a renowned French actress, singer, and fashion icon. She rose to international fame in the 1950s and 1960s, captivating audiences with her beauty and talent. Bardot's breakthrough came with the film And God Created Woman, 1956, directed by Roger Vadim. Her sensuous performance and striking looks made her an iconic sex symbol of the era. Throughout her career, Bardot appeared in numerous films, including Contempt, 1963, and Viva Maria, 1965, establishing herself as one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. Beyond acting, she pursued a successful singing career, with hits like Harley Davidson. Currently, Bridget Bardot is 89 years old, and her legacy endures as a symbol of French cinema and timeless elegance. Despite her retirement from acting in the 1970s, she remains an influential figure, recognized for her contributions to the arts and her advocacy for animal rights. Sophia Loren, born on September 20, 1934, in Rome, Italy, is an iconic Italian actress and international film star. Her rise to fame began in the 1950s, with breakthrough performances in films like Ida, 1953, and The Gold of Naples, 1954. However, it was her role in Two Women, 1960, that garnered her international acclaim and earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress, making Lauren the first actor to win an Oscar for a non-English language film. Lauren's career spans over six decades, featuring collaborations with renowned directors such as Vittorio De Sica and Marcello Mastroianni. She received numerous accolades, including a Grammy, five special Golden Globes, and an Honorary Academy Award for her contributions to world cinema. As of now, Sophia Loren is 89 years old, and her enduring legacy encompasses a remarkable filmography and recognition as one of the greatest actresses in cinematic history. Dame Elizabeth Taylor, born on February 27, 1932, in London, England, was a British-American actress and one of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Taylor rose to fame as a child actress in National Velvet, 1944, and went on to achieve legendary status with roles in films like Cleopatra, 1963, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966, for which she won her second Academy Award. Her career spanned several decades, earning her numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards among several nominations. Elizabeth Taylor was also known for her glamorous lifestyle, numerous marriages, and humanitarian efforts, notably in the fight against HIV-AIDS. Unfortunately, Elizabeth Taylor passed away on March 23, 2011, at the age of 79, due to congestive heart failure. 
Her legacy endures as a symbol of beauty, talent, and philanthropy in the history of cinema. Raquel Welch, born on September 5, 1940, in Chicago, Illinois, was an American actress and sex symbol. She gained international fame with her iconic role in the film One Million Years B.C., 1966, where she donned a prehistoric bikini, cementing her status as a cultural and cinematic icon. Known for her sultry beauty and talent, Welch's career extended beyond her early sex symbol image, with notable performances in films like Fantastic Voyage, 1966, and The Three Musketeers, 1973. She received a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy for her role in The Three Musketeers. In addition to her film career, Raquel Welch has also made a mark on television and in theater. Sadly, Raquel Welch passed away on February 15, 2023, at the age of 82, due to cardiac arrest. Jane Fonda, born on December 21, 1937, in New York City, is an iconic American actress, activist, and fitness guru. She first gained widespread recognition for her performances in films like Barbarella, 1968, and Clute, 1971, earning her Academy Awards for Best Actress in both films. Fonda's acting career continued to thrive with acclaimed roles in Coming Home, 1978, and on Golden Pond, 1981. Beyond her cinematic achievements, Fonda is known for her activism, particularly during the Vietnam War, where she became a prominent anti-war advocate. In the 1980s, she also revolutionized the fitness industry with her popular exercise videos. Jane Fonda's multifaceted career has earned her numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards, seven Golden Globes, and a Primetime Emmy. Currently, Jane Fonda is 86 years old, celebrated for her enduring impact on film, activism, and fitness culture. Catherine Deneuve, born on October 22, 1943, in Paris, France, is a legendary French actress and an enduring symbol of French cinema. She gained international fame with her role in The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, 1964, and solidified her status as an icon with performances in films like Belle du Jour, 1967, and Repulsion, 1965. Deneuve's beauty, grace, and versatility contributed to her becoming one of the most celebrated actresses of her generation. Her extensive career includes collaborations with renowned directors such as Louis Buñuel and Francois Truffaut. Catherine Deneuve received numerous accolades, including a César Award and an Academy Award nomination. Beyond acting, she has been a fashion icon and a cultural ambassador. Today, Catherine Deneuve is 80 years old, celebrated for her enduring contributions to cinema and her lasting impact on the international film industry. Natalie Wood, born on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, California, was an American actress and child star. She gained early fame with roles in films like Miracle on 34th Street, 1947, and Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, establishing herself as one of Hollywood's most promising talents. Her career continued to flourish with performances in West Side Story, 1961, and Splendor in the Grass, 1961. Wood received three Academy Award nominations during her career. Her achievements include a Golden Globe for her role in Love with the Proper Stranger, 1963. However, her life was tragically cut short when she drowned near Catalina Island, California, on November 29, 1981, at the age of 43. The circumstances surrounding her death remain mysterious, and it was officially ruled as an accidental drowning, though questions persist. Natalie Wood's legacy endures through her timeless contributions to film and the enduring impact of her performances. Julie Christie, 
born on April 14, 1940, in Chibua, Assam, British India, now in India, is a renowned British actress. She gained international fame with her breakout role in Billy Liar, 1963, and later achieved widespread recognition for her iconic performances in Darling, 1965, and Dr. Zhivago, 1965. Christie's enigmatic beauty and talent made her one of the leading actresses of the 1960s and 1970s. Her illustrious career includes an Academy Award for Best Actress for Darling and nominations for McCabe and Mrs. Miller, 1971, and Afterglow, 1997. Christie's contributions to cinema extend beyond acting, as she actively supported social and environmental causes. Now, in 2023, Julie Christie is 83 years old, and her legacy as a versatile and influential actress endures, leaving an indelible mark on the history of film. Ursula Andrus, born on March 19, 1936, in Ostermundigen, Switzerland, is an iconic Swiss actress and sex symbol. She achieved international fame with her role as Honey Rider in the James Bond film Dr. No, 1962, emerging from the Caribbean Sea in an iconic white bikini. This moment catapulted her to stardom and established her as one of the most memorable Bond girls. Andrus's career continued with roles in films like She, 1965, and Casino Royale, 1967. While her career didn't reach the same heights as her Bond debut, she remained a recognizable figure in international cinema. Ursula Andrus received a Golden Globe for New Star of the Year in 1964. As of 2023, she is 87 years old, celebrated for her contribution to cinematic history and her enduring status as a cultural and style icon. Faye Dunaway, born on January 14, 1941, in Bascom, Florida, is an acclaimed American actress. Rising to fame in the late 1960s and 1970s, Dunaway became an iconic figure with her striking looks and powerful performances. She achieved widespread recognition for her role as Bonnie Parker in Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, earning her an Academy Award nomination and solidifying her status as a leading actress. Dunaway's career continued to flourish with memorable roles in films such as Chinatown, 1974, and Network, 1976, the latter earning her the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her on-screen presence and versatility made her one of Hollywood's most respected actresses. Presently, Faye Dunaway is 82 years old, celebrated for her enduring contributions to cinema and her place in the pantheon of Hollywood legends. Sharon Tate, born on January 24, 1943, in Dallas, Texas, was an American actress and model. She rose to prominence in the 1960s with roles in films such as Valley of the Dolls, 1967, and The Fearless Vampire Killers, 1967, earning acclaim for her beauty and talent. Tate's promising career was tragically cut short when she became a victim of the Manson family murders on August 9, 1969. The brutal nature of her death, along with her pregnancy at the time, shocked the world and had a lasting impact on popular culture. The tragedy marked the end of a budding career and the loss of a promising talent. While Sharon Tate's life was tragically brief, her memory endures as a symbol of innocence and the dark side of fame in Hollywood. Jean Shrimpton, born on November 7, 1942, in High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire, England, is a British model and one of the iconic faces of the 1960s fashion scene. Known as the Shrimp, she revolutionized the modeling industry with her distinctive look and modern style. Shrimpton's breakthrough came when she became the face of Swinging London, working with renowned photographers such as David Bailey. Her modeling career reached its peak during the 1960s, and she became a muse for various fashion designers. Shrimpton's influence extended beyond the runway, shaping the fashion landscape of the era. 
Though she transitioned away from full-time modeling in the 1970s, Jeanne Shrimpton's impact is enduring. Her achievements include being featured on numerous magazine covers and in influential fashion campaigns. Now, in 2023, Jeanne Shrimpton is 81 years old, leaving an indelible mark on the history of fashion. Cybill Shepard, born on February 18, 1950, in Memphis, Tennessee, is an American actress and former model. She gained prominence as a model before transitioning to acting, earning early acclaim for her breakout role in The Last Picture Show, 1971, which led to a Golden Globe nomination. Shepard's career continued to flourish with notable performances in Taxi Driver, 1976, and the TV series Moonlighting, 1985-1989 where she starred alongside Bruce Willis. Throughout her career, Shepard received three Golden Globe Awards and multiple Emmy nominations, showcasing her versatility across film and television. Her contributions extend beyond acting, including theater and music. Today, Cybill Shepard is 73 years old. Her enduring career and impact on the entertainment industry underscore her status as a multifaceted talent and influential figure in Hollywood. Allie McGraw, born on April 1, 1939, in Pound Ridge, New York, is an American actress and style icon. She rose to fame with her breakthrough role as Jenny Cavallari in the film Love Story, 1970, earning an Academy Award nomination and widespread acclaim. McGraw's on-screen charisma and natural beauty captivated audiences, making her a prominent figure in the 1970s film industry. While her acting career was relatively brief, Allie McGraw left an indelible mark with roles in films like The Getaway, 1972, and Convoy, 1978. Beyond acting, she has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors. Currently, Allie McGraw is 84 years old. Her legacy extends beyond the screen, encompassing her impact on fashion and her contributions to the cultural landscape of the 1970s solidifying her status as an enduring Hollywood icon. Diana Ross, born on March 26, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan, is an American singer, actress, and music icon. She initially gained fame as the lead singer of The Supremes, one of Motown's most successful acts in the 1960s, with hits like Stop, In the Name of Love and You Can't Hurry Love. Ross later embarked on a solo career, achieving further success with chart toppers like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Upside Down. Diana Ross's career is marked by her powerful vocals, versatility, and stage presence. She earned critical acclaim for her acting, notably in the film Lady Sings the Blues, 1972, which garnered her an Academy Award nomination. With a career spanning decades, Ross received numerous awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom. As of now, Diana Ross is 79 years old, continuing to influence generations as a trailblazer in the music and entertainment industry. Vanessa Redgrave, born on January 30, 1937, in London, England, is a distinguished British actress of stage and screen. She hails from the renowned Redgrave acting family. Redgrave's breakthrough came with her performance in Morgan, A Suitable Case for Treatment, 1966, earning her an Academy Award nomination. Known for her captivating presence and versatility, she has seamlessly transitioned between classical stage roles and contemporary film projects. Vanessa Redgrave's illustrious career spans over six decades, encompassing iconic performances in films such as Julia, 1977, and Howard's End, 1992. Her achievements include an Academy Award win, Emmy Awards, and a Tony Award for her theatrical work. Presently, Vanessa Redgrave is 86 years old, celebrated for her contributions to both cinema and the stage. Her legacy endures as a respected and influential figure in the world of acting.
Diana Rigg, born on July 20, 1938, in Doncaster, England, was a highly acclaimed British actress. She gained international fame for her role as Emma Peel in the 1960s television series The Avengers. Rigg's charismatic performance and strong on-screen presence established her as a cultural icon. Throughout her career, Diana Rigg showcased her versatility on both stage and screen. She earned critical acclaim for her work in classic theater productions, including a Tony Award for her role in Medea, 1994. Her film credits include the James Bond film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, 1969. Diana Rigg passed away on September 10, 2020, at the age of 82, due to lung cancer. Her legacy endures through her contributions to the performing arts, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Grace Kelly, born on November 12, 1929, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was an American actress who later became Princess of Monaco. She achieved fame for her captivating performances in classic films like Dial M for Murder, 1954, Rear Window, 1954, and To Catch a Thief, 1955. Grace Kelly's elegance, beauty, and talent earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Country Girl, 1954. In 1956, she married Prince Rainier III of Monaco, becoming Princess Grace and retiring from acting. As a princess, she focused on philanthropy and cultural endeavors, contributing significantly to Monaco's cultural development. Tragically, Grace Kelly died on September 14, 1982, at the age of 52, following a car accident on a mountain road in Monaco. Her legacy endures as a Hollywood icon and beloved princess, remembered for her timeless grace and contributions to film and society. Marilyn Monroe, born as Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California, was an iconic American actress, singer, and model. Rising to stardom in the 1950s, Monroe became a symbol of Hollywood glamour and sensuality. Her breakthrough came with roles in films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, 1953, and Some Like It Hot, 1959, showcasing her comedic and dramatic talents. Monroe's career was marked by both critical acclaim and challenges. She received a Golden Globe for her performance in Some Like It Hot and founded her own production company, Marilyn Monroe Productions. However, personal struggles and the intense scrutiny of fame impacted her well-being. Sadly, Marilyn Monroe died on August 5, 1962, at the age of 36, officially ruled as a probable suicide by drug overdose. Despite her tragic end, Monroe's legacy endures as an enduring symbol of beauty, talent, and the complexities of fame. Thanks for joining us on this glamorous trip down memory lane. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more vintage vibes. Until next time, stay fabulous and keep celebrating the enduring beauty of these legendary actresses. See you in the next video.